the best camera angles can make this look good. Good morning, guys. First full day in Auckland, Australia. <laughs> good morning, guys. First full day in Auckland, New Zealand. Uh, we just had breakfast. Breakfast was terrible, honestly. Um, I'm not even going to go into detail about it. Breakfast was just terrible. But it's this one's birthday today. She's 20. How do you feel? Do you feel a year older? No? Well, that's that then. Um, but I'm actually going to go and head to the supermarket. I think it's called New World. The supermarket here. And just to pick up some essentials while she does the makeup, gets ready and whatever. And I'm going to head about 100 miles away to the Lord of the Rings slash Hobbit uh, movie set tour thingy. So that should be fun today. Um, but yeah, I'm going to head to the supermarkets now. I'm not going to take the camera, I'm going to leave that with you. So, we are out in the car now, uh, so let me just backtrack a little bit. So I went to the supermarket, uh, just got some essentials like water, monsters, uh, Gatorades, toothpaste, which got taken off us in airport security. Um, what else? Uh, and that's about it. Pretty sure we just got drinks, toothpaste, and I think that's it. Uh, but yeah, right now we are heading to the famous Lord of the Rings Hobbit Shire tour, whatever it is. Um, it's quite a, a famous tourist attraction in New Zealand. Um, but obviously we're actually spending some time on the road now, we're actually spending some time driving to a different destination. and. I can already tell that like, the scenery in New Zealand is absolutely beautiful. It's just, everything is just green. It's like, there's no flat land at all. It's just all mountainous green trees and wildlife. It's just so vast as well. Um, obviously in Australia, it's a lot of, it's a lot more dry land. So it's a lot of like, you know, it's basically like desert, you know, yellow grass, everything's just so dry, but here everything's just luscious and green and... Luscious? Yeah. Luscious. Luscious. Luscious and green. 
and it's just, it's so beautiful. It reminds it reminds me a little bit of Iceland, what it would what I'd imagine it'd be like in the summer. Obviously, we've only been in the winter, um, and a little bit of Wales, and a little bit of what I would expect Scotland to be like as well. But it's beautiful there, honestly. We should be there in about 10 or 15 minutes as well, so look forward to it. Okie dokie, so right now we're at the Hobbiton movie set and I'm not really sure what we're doing here but uh, I think we're just going to go and find an entrance to somewhere and uh, hopefully get tickets or something so let's go and find out Are you excited? I get everyone to look the right size and do it convincingly on camera. Now, rather than use digital effects, which is quite technical and modern. went to a nearby farm, bought an oak tree, cut it down and stuck it up here on a spike. However, when they returned 10 years later for the Hobbit trilogy, the tree had weathered away, did nothing. So what they decided to do this time was invest and build a tree that could never die. So they put in a concrete base above the set with a steel frame, wrapped it in expanding foam to give it a shape, before putting on the silicon cast of a real oak tree bark to make it look even more natural. And then they finished by hand painting and hand wiring on over 200,000 leaves. But everyone, it would not be an impressive set, part of the Hobbiton set, but a really ridiculous attention to detail story to go along with it. And that is, while this tree was built for the Hobbit trilogy, Oh George, this would be a good picture with all of that in. Do you want a cookie? cherry picking machine, basically a tractor, a huge big crane, covered it in lights, set it up on the far side and then proceeded to chase the extras across it so it looked like they were all looking at the same thing. So what they did instead after that, just superimpose a big magic dragon firework and nobody's the wiser but basically a tractor was just chasing a hundred people all around this field. Yeah, pretty strange fact about the set. Also, speaking of the firework, does anybody remember the scene when many and Tiffany And now, where are we heading now? 
can't I can't hear. The pub. Head into the pub. Ginger beer, not alcohol. Because I'm driving. Lights on. Yeah. Light camera action. 
Where are we then? Hokey dokey. So, obviously, change in clothes now. That's because we went back to the hotel and that was obviously changed since I last um, checked in. So, we've uh, managed to book a massage in for 7.45 and we should be there about right on time. I'm having an hour long Thai massage which is absolutely going to destroy me. The doms I have right now after doing squats and deadlifts two, two days ago are unimaginable. Like my lower back, my hamstrings and my quads are absolutely destroyed. So let's just hope this lady who's giving me a Thai massage just goes easy on me because <laughs> I'm in pain already and just thinking about some of the positions I'm going to be putting, it's just... You know, what are you going for? It's sending, you know, shivers down my spine thinking about it, but yeah, it's going to be worth it after I think, if I don't, if my spine doesn't snap. Um, but then you're going for a 30 minute, what is it? I like, think it's a leg and foot massage. Leg and foot massage and foot scrub. Yeah. I'm going to clean your dirty feet. Shut up. Um, oh, you have to tell them about your bites though, won't you? On your leg. Yeah. Because obviously you got... They'll probably see them straight away. bites. No, they're actually all like scabbed up now. Oh. There's, well, there's only one scab. Well, I'm sure think, that'll put them at ease. I think I've been bitten today as well. Um, but then after that, we plan to go for, um, for some dinner. For a nice meal. Um, I don't know where yet. We'll hopefully find somewhere. However, if all else fails, we'll just be going to Dennis. <laughs> because that's the type of girl Danielle is. If you don't know what Dennis is, it's just like a very um, simple American diner place. Like IHOP? Like, yeah, they do like pancakes, breakfast, you know, all day breakfast, things like that. So, um, yeah. I mean, if it's me, like I would, you know, go to a steakhouse or something like that. But yeah, Danielle's you'd want to go very... to a Michelin star steakhouse. Mm -hmm. I literally said to you though that my ideal my ideal birthday meal will be getting loads of the chicken strips from KFC with the crispy bits on. <laughs> like, how could you what couldn't ask for a better girlfriend that doesn't want expensive things? Yeah, but you like that meme on Facebook where it's like um, when you you know when you're expecting to go to a fancy restaurant, but all she wants is like chicken nuggets or something. That's yeah. Like, yeah, but right, let's nice. go and get a massage anyway. Right now is the long awaited iPhone 8 giveaway. Okay, so we've got some explaining to do. So, I'm not too sure where I left off last. Pretty sure it I'm was... Going to the massage. Was it? That was a long time ago. So it's like, pretty sure it's like almost midnight now, so... No, it's half Oh, uh, it's past midnight, so your birthday's over in not New Zealand. <laughs> well, we're not going to carry on for another 12 hours. But, yeah, so I left off last on the way to the massage. We both ended up having a massage. I had an hour long, full body, traditional Thai massage. And I said it was, I felt it was like it was going to be painful. It was exactly that. It was so, so, so painful. You don't even want to imagine how painful it was. I trained legs two days ago, really bad doms. 
like a traditional um, Thai massage, I'm pretty sure it's like, I don't know, 80 or 90% like footwork. It's them essentially walking on you. And yeah, the whole weight of the lady who was walking on me was pretty much on very small points of my hamstrings, quads and back. And man, was it so painful. And the positions that they get you in, so painful but it just felt so good and um after the massage like i just felt like a new person honestly felt so loose just feel like i can do anything now i feel like i can do a triple backflip no um, yeah but yeah after straight after the massage um oh i should probably mention you had a 30 minute foot massage how was that good your first experience of a no, timer. It, it was a proper one, not like how they did it in New York. Like you were lying on a bed, not just in the reception and on the chair. Yeah, but they actually did some back work with you as well, didn't they? Yeah. A little bit of back work. Well, so. she got on the bed behind me and I didn't know what she was doing. But you are kind of, uh, I've swayed you, haven't I? Because she was a bit dubious to get a massage before, wasn't yeah. you? I don't know, I, I just I was... feel like a bit like, I'm just really like tickly, like she touched, no, she you went, touched, you went tickle with she time, touched so. one bit of my foot and I was like, oh my god, I had to nick my leg because I thought I was going to laugh because it was a little bit tickly. Okay, well, you have a traditional time massage and you tell me if that's tickly, you would be, die. you'd be screaming, honestly, you'd be so much in pain, but feel so good after. Um, so anyway, straight after the massage, it was about... About nine, nine. Yeah, about 9.30 then, uh, we went pretty much just around the corner, there was like a little pub, bar, tiny restaurant thing, and that is where we had dinner. Um, I had a sirloin steak, mashed potato, chicken things, you had a burger and fries, the usual, and just some soft drinks, and that was actually pretty good. Um, there's a nice little bar, some music playing, and um, the meal was actually better than what I expected it to be. I thought it was just going to be like, you know, like snack food, but it was actually pretty good. I'll pick so, good places. Um, I was, you know, okay with that. And then, and then where did we go? And then when we, then we went to Burger King because I kind of figured that, <laughs> although obviously I had that that pretty large meal, I haven't actually eaten a whole lot today. Well, like you I, went to Burger King. Yeah, but like I haven't actually eaten a whole lot today. I had toast for breakfast. Some oh, have you explained about the breakfast? We already did, yeah. I'm, I'll, well, I already said that it's bad. I'm not going to go into detail about it. But anyway, yeah, so all I had today was like toast, fries, and then that meal, um, which is a pretty big meal, decent amount of protein, whatever. Um, so I thought I'd just go to Burger King, get like a high protein um, burger bun thing. Um, high and protein, then, uh, how is that high called? It's high everything, isn't it? Um, and then I had a little sundae. And <laughs> yeah, that's been the day so far. So yeah, just been transferring photos from my camera to laptop, having a look through them or whatever. Had a shower, busy day tomorrow again. So we're just gonna watch something and then go to sleep. So been a good day, had a good birthday in New Zealand. Yeah. A memorable one. Yeah. Any last words? No. Just thank you. You're welcome. How does it feel to be 20? Uh, how does it feel to be 22? Two years older than you. Well, you're like two and a half. Yeah. Right. I'm gonna, we're going to end this video here, because like I said, we're just going to watch some and then go to sleep. So, hope you guys have enjoyed it, we've enjoyed the day. Give this video a like, leave a comment down below, subscribe if you haven't already, and I'll see you, well, we will see you tomorrow. Peace! <laughs>